Well, I um, was diagnosed with a large fibroid. Sophia's fibroid was in fact very large. Uh, as you say, it was the size of a cantaloupe, <laughs> and for anybody who has fibroids, um, often an analogy to fruit is made, and so I had a cantaloupe, and uh, uh, Sophia's built is not very large, therefore the ratio between the size of the tumor and the size of the patient was quite unique. It actually didn't bother me until I wanted to have a baby. And my husband and I um, went and we had a second opinion. Uh, Sophia, in fact, had already even uh, had a first opinion by another robotic team that thought that that operation was not approachable even with robotic technology. And then my husband, um, a financial analyst, had heard researched the company with, that makes the robot and knew that there um, was a surgeon at the Brigham Dr. Gargiulo, who was using the robot for this particular surgery. He said, I think we need to contact that physician. Our team has uh, pioneered uh, a robotic technique which uh, employs a mix of uh, uh, conventional uh, laparoscopic skills and robotic technology to address very large fibroids. We met with Dr. Gargiulo and they assessed the fibroid and they said yes there is a very good chance that this is exactly why you're not getting pregnant. We did this operation with the same accuracy that we would have done uh, by opening the patient but with uh, tremendous advantages for her in terms of her being able to return to a normal life within a few days rather than several weeks uh, and uh, have the least amount of post-operative internal scarring that might have led to infertility in a case like that. And which was uh, wonderful for me to hear because I felt like there was then a solution. And we underwent the surgery. It took five hours, um, which was long. I had never been under general anesthesia before, so I was nervous. Sophia's operation was uh, one of the largest uh, myomectomies that we have performed with robot assistance under laparoscopy that uh, then gave rise to a spontaneous uh, pregnancy. But the surgery went very well and five and a half months, now I cry, after the surgery I became pregnant with my daughter.